do I got a bottle of tequila I've been saving for you and welcome back to my channel feels like it's been a while since i've sat down and filmed a proper video but here i am it's a bit of a rushed one today i'm going for a brunch in london our brunch is booked at 12 15 thank you sam so yeah i'm in a bit of a rush i'm gonna set a timer for an hour and aim to be ready in that time it's a hot day so I don't want to be filming for too long because I have to shut my windows because every single neighbour likes to do their gardening, um, building work, any sound you can possibly think of, it comes when I try and film. So I have to shut my windows. So like I said, we're going for a brunch and then we're booked in at Dirty Martini, which I think we're sat outside in. Not sat outside in, we're sat outside. So I don't want to go to like full coverage with the makeup. I say that and I'll probably have a Kate's face, but um, I want to try and keep it quite sheer today. Um, I'm going to sweat it off. I probably won't do eyelashes or anything. I think I'm going to keep it quite... Still nice, but just not like I'm going to a club because it's hot. I don't know if you can see, I'm sweating. So let's just get straight into it. I'm also sat in a do I spent money on making a background and then I've not actually used it yet. I wanted to use some of the natural lighting so I've got my window coming here whereas if I use my dressing table it's just it looks like we're in winter still. Um and I have a big mirror here so I can kind of watch myself. I'm still getting used to doing the get ready with me as I find it hard to just get ready in the camera. So yeah, I'm in another new position, which is a bit weird getting ready on my bed, but... So, first, I am taking my Mark Hill Pick and Mix Barrel, um, and I think... I was going to touch it, but I've got it turned on. The barrel that I'm using is the medium one, and I have already sectioned... This is going to be really hard to do, sat on my bed. Where am I going to lean this? Um, I've sectioned off. I have these kind of, like that's a bit longer um i have these kind of like front bits cut in um so i'm gonna put it up in a roller for while i get ready the rollers that i'm using are just these ones from super drug uh 15 self grip rollers i think they cost me maybe like four pounds i could be completely wrong this is not a nice angle for me but i just take the biggest one And all I literally do, because I don't want it to be curly, I just want it to be uh, like volume. Never come to me for hair and makeup advice, so I don't have a clue what I'm doing. But I literally just hold it on there for not very long, let it go. And that's the finished look. So I'm just going to take the roller and kind of brush through it. I'm really bad at rolling. I'm not a hair person. And yeah, I'm just going to good angle because you can't even see anything I'm doing. Roll it down. So first I'm going in with my MAC strobe cream. You all know I love this. It's in the shade gold light. I use it every time I do my makeup, even sometimes if I'm doing like the lightest makeup, just a bit of concealer, I still like to use this, especially in the summer. It just gives you that nice, nice glow. Before I forget, because I always forget to do it and then have to do it once my foundation's on and that's when it goes really crusty. I'm gonna soak my eyebrows now. I've found that it works just a bit better in like stopping it flaking. Oh, I can't open it. Um, I did get my eyebrows laminated. I, haven't, I don't know how really long they're supposed to last for, but um, I'm still, like I'm having to soak them up now when I go out. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to brush them up. I still don't really have to do a ton to them, but like, um, 
what I do because I'm still having to soap them now and fill them in a slight bit but I mean it has been over a month since I had them done so it's probably like fair play they're also growing really quickly she gave me some castor oil um so I've been using that and they're growing really quickly do you see the difference I don't know if this lighting is really, I've probably, I've got to set my alarm. Alexa, set my alarm for an hour. One hour, starting now. Apologies, if that set your Alexa off, I had a lot of comments, not comments, messages, saying um, in my Pretty Little Thing video, set their Alexa off. But we all enjoy a bit of Harry Styles, so... I am looking for recommendations on a new soap. Um, I mean, this is nearly run out and I also, I don't know whether it's just how I use it, but it has got the tendency to go quite flaky sometimes. So I'm on the hunt for a new one. Next, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 30 and I'm just using it to cover my spots. My skin's been doing okay lately, uh, not the best. I could still have a couple of breakouts, but I think it's the sun. It just really, really clears it up. And I feel like I always look better when I've got that little sunny glow to my skin. I'm just gonna take this brush to stamp it in. Usually I'd be getting ready with a gin, but one, it's so hot, two, it's so early. I need to stick with my water so right now. Next, I am taking my trusty L'Oreal Tree Match. Um, this is in the shade Golden Sun. It's kind of like, it's not too dark. It probably, it will be too dark for me. But I don't have fake tan on right now. I just have like a natural tan. I've been sunbathing. So it's kind of like the in-between shade that I own. Um, oh, but it's running out. So I've had to break the lid. And it's probably going to go all over my white bed. Like I said, I don't want anything too like cakey. I want quite minimal makeup today. So I'm going to... I can't even see my eyesight is not the one i can't actually see how much i'm putting on um that should be enough i'm just going to kind of why do things always happen to me like this when i'm running late fuck's sake can't believe that's just happened to me um I'm gonna kind of move it around my face with this brush. That is what I like about this foundation. It's good coverage, but it's buildable. Builders, constantly builders around my house. We're just gonna have to ignore it. I don't have time to stop and wait. They're really going for it, aren't they? I think I look really orange in this light. But, so now I've kind of like tapped it in with that. I'm just going to take my Filthy Beauty Blender. Not the Beauty Blender, the Real Techniques one. And just pat it in to the skin. I find it so hard. I don't know how people like... I think get ready with me's are so hard. I thought it would be very simple to just put the camera up and um, start filming. Maybe it's just me. Like, maybe people do find it easy, but... <sighs> I don't, I don't. It's too much to, like... I can't get ready just looking in here. I need a mirror, and that mirror's too far away. But... Gotta get some YouTube content out there, so we are doing it. So again, I'm just going back in with a 30. Because obviously I made it quite sheer. Um, I have a couple of things that still need a bit of coverage. Um, and again, I'm just taking this and blending it out. 
also i don't know if you can probably tell my face is a bit swollen i have an infective infective infected wisdom tooth and i am in pain but we are powering through for the brunch i had a bit of a breakdown last night to my boyfriend saying i wasn't gonna come um i didn't want to drink basically i've been put on antibiotics but i am waiting until the day after to take them because this has been planned for a while this day out and i feel bad i don't want to let anyone down um so we're powering through but yeah if i look weird my tooth's infected but oh my god guys so i went to the dentist hold that full before i carry on with my story i'm going in with the maybelline fit me concealer again but this time in shade 20 yeah so i had to call up basically yesterday i was in so much pain and i am terrified mm, terrified is probably a strong word i've got better as i've got older i'm not a big fan of the dentist so it takes a lot for me to call up and be like please can you see me I had the infections before and i let them pass on their own because i am absolutely terrified of having my wisdom tooth taken out but yeah i was in pain so i called up and i was like please can i have some antibiotics or can someone just see me and i was like can you come down asap so basically i went straight down there and straight away my lovely dentist was like we need to take that out um you're gonna have problems with the rest for the rest of your life if you don't take it out which i mean i suppose it's expected most well i mean i'm no dentist but i don't think many people like keep their wisdom teeth in so it was expected that's why i put off going for so long i don't really want it to happen because i'm so i'm so squeamish like as soon as he said it my legs went weak and i was like yeah but please not today like i need someone with me and he's like no it's not gonna be today anyway i have to go for a scan on well, they wanted me to go straight away for an x-ray, but I had to go to work in pain. I'm such a trooper. Um, so I have an x-ray booked for Monday. And then I basically just have to take that back to him. Um, and they'll call me when everything's happening. It's a little life update for you all. Oh my god, my phone. Very sorry, my phone rang. I'm having to wipe my hands 24 7 because I'm not getting makeup on this white bed. And then they have prescribed me with two types of antibiotics, which I'll start taking. Because apparently you can drink on antibiotics, it's probably not recommended, but you can. Um, but then the second one that they've put me on I, it has been stressed to me. Um, do not take it with alcohol, um, not even a drop. Oh. Otherwise, it'll make you violently sick. So, we're going to put that on hold. So, yeah, long story short, my wisdom tooth is infected and it's going to be taken out. But that's why I look weird. Um, now, I'm just taking the Chanel bronzer on this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And just tapping it over. Like I said before, I don't like to bring my like bronzer too far down. Because I like to have the lifted face instead of making it look droopy. I love this bronzer. I've repurchased it time and time again. And now my skin has cleared up for this summer. I'm excited to just wear it with a bit of concealer. My strobe cream. Some of this. And just have a lovely like dewy look. I'm going to take a bit along the jawline, but I don't like to do too much. Otherwise, you have like the line. I started to contour my nose a bit recently. Stopped doing it for a bit because I was getting it. It was far too harsh, but I've started just doing like a little bit again. So I'm taking this pointed foundation brush from Real Techniques and just taking the cream bronzer again. And I just go down my nose, obviously. And then again, I'm just taking the Beauty Blender to kind of press it in. I've really become a fan of using these sponges again. I feel like 
for maybe like a year i was only using brushes for everything um, and don't get me wrong i still um love a, oh, these hairs don't get me wrong i still love a brush and it's still probably like my preferred method but i'm really getting back into these again um and then yeah i'm just gonna take it all the way around where i put the brims are just to make sure there's no like harsh lines i mean it's possible it looks okay um so you would have seen in my madison beer tutorial that i found this and i've been loving it it just gives it's the perfect um like makeup item for summer honestly again it's just i'm really loving like the creamy dewy looks like using cream products to create a makeup look make honestly the way i talk you'd think i'm out here like a makeup artist i can barely do my own makeup but i only like to use a tiny bit of this just in case um it is the maybelline cheek heat in nude burn like i said i've just been absolutely loving this and i just kind of take it i used to do the bronze um I used to do the blush on the apples on my cheeks, but I just like to take it again, kind of up around where I did my bronzer. And this is definitely something I get scared about, like, oh my God, it's not rubbing in. But it's just a trust the process moment. And I just take the excess that's on my finger over my nose. I've just done my powder off camera in the bathroom so it doesn't go all over my bed. But yeah, I... I'm really trying to make sure at the moment that I set around this area because obviously on the trains and entering places you have to wear masks and especially in this heat I think it's going to be about 25 today in this heat it just is not the one now I'm just taking my bronzer this is the one that I always use I really need to start switching up my products because otherwise these get ready with me's and makeup stuff is going to be so boring because I use the same products pretty much. But I'm just taking this again on the top of my cheekbones. Really, really looking forward to this brunch. I went out bank holiday Monday and the Friday of that week as well. And ugh, it feels so good to be going out out again. I haven't done like a brunch. On Monday we went for cocktails and a meal which you would have seen in the vlog that is currently uploading right now and then on the friday i went to tonight josephine and it just feels so good to be going out again but i haven't been to like a brunch yet um and i've never heard of this place my friend booked it because we was really struggling to get into places um i've never heard of it it's called megan's um i don't know if i'm gonna go and be so overdressed but why not we've been in lockdown for however about a year now so there is no two overdressed in my eyes same bronzer on this real techniques angled shadow brush um this is from home bargains they do real technique brushes in home bargains now so everyone get there Next, I'm just taking a bit of powder blush and putting it where I applied the cream. And that is my base done, kind of, without my highlight. Um, I'm just going to go and do my eyebrows off camera. I won't do a lot to them. I'm just going to underline them with concealer and then maybe fill in a few sparse areas. Eyebrows are done. And I'm not going to go anything crazy on the eyes today. I think I'm just going to do a bit of bronzer. Um, I'm not really an eyeshadowy type of girl. I wish I was one of these people that was so artistic with their eyeshadow. But I just can't do it. Next, I'm taking this eyeliner from Revolution in the shade Brown. And I just like to use it to bring my little freckly mole back to life 
like that and then I just do a very very light wing with it again I'm gonna have to do this on ca off camera because I don't have a steady hand so while I was there I just popped on a little bit of mascara like I said I've not been I don't want to do eyelashes today it's too hot that is my eyes done um, and I'm just gonna go in with my MAC stripped down trusty lip liner Why does it look so dark? I love this lip liner, but I don't know whether it's the lighting in this room. Because in the mirror, guys, please. It's, that's going to annoy me because it looks lovely in the mirror. But that lighting is doing me dirty. It looks like I've got a brown lipstick on. I haven't. It's a nice little nude in there. I'm just going to finish it off with this Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in the shade I Be For Nights. <sighs> it's really gonna annoy me. I tell you now, I need a proper camera because that makes my makeup look a lot worse than what it actually does. Anyway, for the finishing touch, I'm going in with this MAC highlighter palette and I'm just taking the gold and just along the cheekbones. I feel like we need a bit of highlighter today. It's nice and sunny. We want to look like we're glowing, not sweating. A bit on the tip of the nose. A bit down the bridge. I'm also gonna just go along my collarbones. To make them pop and also I like to do a bit on my shoulder look at that taking some along my brow line last but not least we want to make sure that we are setting our face it's hot we have masks on um I actually forgot to do this when I went out on Friday and my dad had driven me halfway down the road and I was like you need to turn back haven't set my face and he an argument was caused however my makeup stayed on so we went back I set my face so everyone that is the finished makeup look um I'm happy with how it turned out in the mirror you're doing me dirty but I am just gonna go and do my hair now I'm gonna do it off camera because I think I'm I need to be quick um, I'm just going to curl it with the barrel that I used to do my fringe. I did film this in a previous vlog, um, but I'm just going to do it all over and then I will show you the finished look. So everyone, I am ready. Um, my hair is already annoying me, so it's back behind my ears. I imagine it will be in a ponytail before long, but I just can't get volume on my bangs. Um... I'm running late, so we'll sort it on the train. This is my outfit. This dress is a bit revealing for me, um, but it is from Missy Empire. I got it in a size six. Um, my bag is from Pretty Little Thing. I have a ring on from Pretty Little Thing. And my shoes are also from pretty little thing so oh, my hair is really not the one I don't know if I like it like this but it is what it is I'm ready oh I've got some lovely tan lines as well if you like this video please remember to give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one bye so girl,